Hey, what's up everybody? So I just shared an article that we're looking at here on my YouTube community wall. And basically it's about how you can easily rename your Git default branch from master to main. Uh, so I'm gonna, I've got like 10 minutes before I have to go jump on a call. So I'm gonna try and see how easy it is for you to do this. All right, so it looks like the first command, there's two commands. You can do git branch dash m, which is stands for move. Uh, and then you take the branch name that you want to move. You want to move it from master to main. And then the other one is git push dash u origin main. And so then you're just pushing all that code back uh, up to GitHub. And it is resetting the tracking for the main branch as opposed to the pre existing. Uh, master branch and then you have to go into github and change your settings here so let me find let's just find a, a random repo okay so we're going to use this one here this is for toprateddtechcourses.com where i share affiliate links for top rated courses from udemy for programming and other similar topics and so you can see right here my shell it says master telling us which branch we're on and so that command, if I am not mistaken, let me just make it a little bit bigger, is git branch dash m, and then we'll change it from master to main. You don't have to call it main, you can call it whatever you want. You can call it latest. Uh, the point is that you just want it to be unambiguous. And I'll go ahead and go with main. And so you can see immediately it changes it here. If I do a git branch, it just shows the single branch. So it moved, it basically renamed it. Think of it like the MV command, where if you have you know file name one, and then you change it to file name two, that's basically what it's doing. It's just completely renaming it. So then I'm gonna do git push, and normally you would do origin master to push it to the origin branch on GitHub. In this case, I'm gonna do git push dash u, so we get that tracking, and then origin main. So this is pushing up to GitHub. Mm -hmm. And now it says that it's on there. So I'm gonna jump back over to here and we will find that repo. So let's look for course deals. There it is right there. We'll go into settings. And if we go back real quick, you can see that it still shows the master branch, but there is a main branch here. So this is the part where we're gonna go into settings Branches. Branch. Every time I hear the name branch, I think of uh, trolls. Branch, branch. So default branch, so you go settings, branches, and then we'll just change it with this drop down and click update. I understand. Uh, it tells you changing your default branch can have unintended consequences that can affect new pull requests and clones. So this is a, a repo that just I am using. If you're working on a team, make sure that you sit down with the team and make sure that everybody's on board and that everybody's doing what they need to do to be able to uh, get the same branch. Otherwise, you could screw things up. So for me, it's totally fine. I understand. Go ahead and update it. And now if I go back to the code here, you can see that it defaults to main. And that's it. You're all set. There are some other things that are done here. He talks about uh, you can also update the tracking manually, but because we already did get push dash u origin main, we don't have to do that. It does it on its own. Uh, and he talks about why the dash m or dash dash move flag will reflog your changes. Basically, it's not going to change any of the commit hashes. They're all just gonna get moved over. They just get copied to the new one. All right, so in conclusion, the two commands are git branch dash m master and then whatever you wanna name it to. In my case, I did main and then git push dash u origin main will push it to your github repo that if you already are connected to github there's some other stuff here for updating local clones i'll let you read through that if that applies to you it doesn't apply to what we're doing here i'm also running out of time so i got a jet hopefully this was helpful and allowing you to easily rename your previously named master branch on git and github thanks for watching we'll catch you all in the next video